About a year or two ago, we had a male, a guy who was probably World War II veteran, so he was you know, early 80s, a very depressed fella. And I, I could remember vividly, didn't open up much. I brought the guitar out, we did a few songs for about an hour, uh, and one of them was a Louis Armstrong song, which was What a Wonderful World. What a wonderful world. He's sitting there, and he starts to almost well up with tears. He then comes over to me and says, that was my wife's favorite song. His wife, we learned, died of cancer a few years prior to him coming to us. And um, he talked about, we, we danced this at our wedding. You know, There's kind of like very, very, uh, very touching stories. But it sounds like he needed to get that off his chest. Uh, interestingly enough, he started opening up a whole lot more, even out of the context of with the guitar, if you will, musically. And uh, he started really talking about things like loss and things of that nature. He wrote us like postcards much later on. He says, thank you for this kind of stuff. And uh, he, he made a little comment about, Do you remember when you played that song? Some people uh, just get re-inspired to get back to life again. It's finding what people are missing out in their life that they're unable to do because of their disorder was running their life too much and reinstilling that. I guess one has to reinstill hope, right? You know? And that's kind of how I see myself. What a wonderful world.